Not everybody knew them. But it's some. And now Israelites. Oh, you no, I'm saying everything came from Israel. Oh, brown people? Yeah. But out of the 18 nations, right? Right. There's only one. All brown people except for one, right? Right. There's only one of those brown nations that he chose his own people. Cool. So we're not teaching Pan-Africanism like all brown people are the same. I get it. That's not what we're teaching, right? Sure. We're saying that the descendants of slaves, that's a marketing term that they no. put on the internet, right? No, we I'm, are I'm, the, I'm, I'm asking. We are the Israelites, okay. right? When you say Hebrew Israelites or black Hebrew my, my Israelites, my. You, you know, but that's that's something that they put on us because they want to make us look bad. Hey, my, 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 my. You follow what I'm saying? So what we're trying to explain to our people is that there's a difference between brown, just because we're the same skin tone, for sure. doesn't mean we're the same people, right? If you was 100%. in if you was in Bangladesh, the people that are darker than us, sure. we're not the same people, for sure. right? So that's what we're trying to show our people in the Bible that we are the Israelites of the Bible, 100%. and there is requirements once you know that information. Did you know that? It's it's not just it's not just blanket knowledge, right? Because a lot of our people. We call it barbershop talk, right? You know how you go to the shop. shop yeah. There you go, right? Here on the island? No, no. Oh, okay. And, and like, we got brothers in Anchorage. So. I probably know them. Well, so the, the point of what I'm saying is a lot of our people just believe it to be knowledge. For sure. And they don't realize that there's something that comes with that knowledge. For sure. Because at one point we was the superior race on the planet because God said we were. Ah, not today. What happened in Buffalo? Not today. So, so why is the question? Why do so, things happen? Man, let me flip on If somebody don't believe that God is supreme, does it make him, make him not supreme? If, no. It's, it's it's here. It's mentality. No, it's not in our minds because if that was the case, uh, 1492 would have never happened. 1619 would have. You think our people who was getting castrated, beaten to the skin, came off of them, burned alive, didn't mentally want to say, "I want to get out of here." That metaphysics has nothing to do with what we're talking about. It has nothing to do with our brain power. It has everything to do with, I'm explaining to you, it has everything to do with our disobedience to the creator of heaven and earth, who said, who said, I create you different. So, if you know that, how then do we change the condition? If you know that information, how then do we change the condition of our people? Based on that, what you just said. Deuteronomy 28? Yes. I, I'm, I'm telling you. So, so we, okay. We do this. So let me ask you, why are we in that condition? Sin. Right. What is sin? It's transgression of the law. Leviticus 19:28. Yeah. So this is why we're out Not on the street. So this is this is why we're out on the street, right? For sure. Because our people might have that surface knowledge, but they don't really dig in. And I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna explain why I said that. Read this. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 27. One. Ye shall not round the corners of your head, neither shall thy mar the corners of thy beard. So one of the laws that was given to our ancestors is not to shave our heads or our beards. Okay. Read that again. Verse 27. Ye shall not round the corners of your head. Can I pause? Can neither I shall thy mar the corners of thy beard. So when we destroy it. That is the transgression of the law, or in other words, it is sin. So, if you know Deuteronomy 28, there's a reason why these things have happened. For sure. And all we're doing is outlining some of those things that our people may not have been taught, may not know. For sure. Yep. So that's why we're out here, right? So, so can I ask a legit question? Absolutely. So, the scripture says, if you keep one of the laws, you're a debt to the whole whole law. You and Christian passed on us already? All right. We understand what it's talking about, right? It's talking about sacrifice, right? So let me explain that to you. So you guys are still sacrifice? No, absolutely not. Let's get so Hebrews just, next. Just dietary law. Let me explain it to you. Let me explain it to you. Right, so I can tell you got a little bit of knowledge, you know, so how many parts of the Mosaic law is there? Do you know? Just explain it to you. All right. The, the point of me saying that is because when you say dietary law, that means you understand there's differences. Right. So there's five parts. You've got civil, moral, sacrificial, dietary, and ceremonial. Right? Now read this. Let's Remember the five. The Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 4. Watch this. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sins. What is that called when you sacrifice when you when you kill a bull or a goat? It's called sacrifice, right? Yeah, of course. Read that again. Verse 4. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sins. Jump down to verse 7. Verse 7. Then said I, Lo, 
I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. Keep reading. To do thy will of God. Keep reading. Verse 8. Above when he said, sacrifice and offerings and burnt offerings and offerings for sin, thou wouldest not. So what does the Lord no longer want? Sacrifices. We still have to keep the dietary, the civil, the moral, and the ceremonial laws. You still have to observe the Sabbath day. You still have to observe. The um, man made for the Sabbath, the Sabbath is for the man. Okay, let's go to Matthew 12. We know that one too. All right, these are all Christian. No, I'm, 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 I'm a Christian. So, so, so there's a there's a point in which you gotta understand just the knowledge of just the knowledge of. Hold on, we're in a conversation. You can, you can wait, and when we finish with them, then we can talk. Um, so. So there's a point where you have to kind of move beyond just the knowledge, right? right? Because the knowledge of being an Israelite, but the doctors that's in your head is white Jesus. No. Yes, it's absolutely. Not. It's really not. You sure? I'm positive. Why do you shave? Huh? Why do you shave? You didn't know, right? These things you didn't know, right? You didn't know. It's okay, so, but I'm just saying you didn't know, right? So. And then Sabbath you. Sabbath hidden. Do you believe that? Do you, do you know Jesus you can't buy? Did you know you can't buy and sell on the Sabbath day? For sure. Mm -hmm. You knew that? Do you believe that? The, that Jesus was a fulfillment of the law. Not abolished, but fulfilled it. Okay. Do you believe that? I'm just going to read it for you. Acts 3 and 18. No, I'm, I'm asking. So let me, I'm going to answer you with the scriptures. Well, I haven't got to my question yet. You asked me a question. Right. So I'm going to answer it. Well, well I, that's a two part question. So faith and law don't exist together. Right? Faith and law. So you mean um, faith without works is dead? Is that what you're referring to? No. Oh, okay. What are you referring to? Faith supersedes law. Okay, what is faith? Right, because faith, Abraham is father before Moses. So Abraham existed, faith existed before the law. No. Yes. No. Look, Abraham look kept at the, the law. genealogy. Abraham kept the law. Who came first, Abraham or Moses? Abraham kept the law. Which law? The, he had a covenant with the law, of the Lord, didn't he? But, go, you go back and check. The law was given through Moses. So, okay, let me, let me, after. Here's, here's what we're going to ask you. I'm going to ask you, can I be a murderer today? Can you be a murderer today? They exist today. Can I be a murderer and inherit the kingdom of heaven? Yes. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I can? You can. You mean the 1 Corinthians way, 6? Same way you can be a liar. What must I do in order to inherit you the kingdom? Can. What is repentance? Turning away from your sins. And turning towards what? Godly sorrow. Towards God. What does that mean towards God? It, it, let me put it simply. Yes, please. Um, so you are sacrificing your way and acknowledging that your way is wrong and saying, God, with my heart, my mind, and my actions. I my what? My what? Actions. What actions? The, your, your heart. So the law that he's going to put in your heart, everything that, that's in the book is still good. Every, everything is still good. What are the actions? I'm just asking, what actions do I have to but do? He's going to put a, an indwelling spirit to help you act out those things. What things? Not the law. You're, you're, if, if. Okay. I know where you're at. It's 11 o'clock. We got more people out here. I encourage you to look at that, but give me revelations. You engage me. I'm ready to go now. No, you're not, because you're breaking the laws. You sound a little tipsy. I wonder what's in there. It's Dr. Pepper. Okay. All right. Read that. Yes. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 14 and verse 12. Watch this. Here is the patience of the saints. Uh -huh. Here are they that keep the commandments of God. They'll do what? Here are they that keep the commandments of God what? What's and this? the faith of Jesus. What's the what's the root? What's the what's the main word out of that? Read it one more time, because I know he missed it. Here is the patience. And I'm sorry, here is the patience of the saints. Come on. Here are they that keep the commandments of God. Keep the commandments of God. Watch this. And the faith. And and the faith and, of Jesus. And the faith. Not either or. Christians okay. separate. The Bible says both together. The Bible just... Read it again. And works. Verse, verse 12. I said that already. Read that. Here is the patience of the saints. Come on. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Brother, until you can understand that you have to keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus, that's what we're showing our people. Because understand why we're in the condition we're in you acknowledge all that okay. you even went to Deuteronomy 28 sure. and then I begin to explain to you is because of sin I show you some of the sins that you're in whether or not you acknowledge it, then you go it doesn't matter but you just acknowledge that's why we're in the condition that we're in you see how you're, you're it's double speak you're saying I know we're in sin and that's why we're being punished 
but the law is done away with. That makes no sense. We're being punished because we broke the law. Right. It's very simple. So we must repent. You understand repentance. Sure. You said What's it means to it means to acknowledge your wrong and turn away. Acknowledge your wrong and turn away. I said turn towards what? Then you started stuttering because you didn't want to say the law, but you know we're supposed to keep the law. Revelations, the last book of that, the Bible that, said. The Bible, read it I one last the time. Was torn. Read it one last time. Verse 12. This is here, Revelations. Here is the patience of the saints. One. Here are they that keep the commandments of God. Keep the commandments. You cannot get around that. Keep the commandments. Watch this. And the faith and, of Jesus. And the faith, brother. We're not saying Jesus is not a part of it, but it's and, not or. It's and. Together. Tell me what Jesus said when they came in and questioned him. They said, Father, I'll tell you what, what, is said. what is the greatest commandment? Matthew 19. I'll tell you what he said. We're going to read it for you. He said, go back Hold and on. sacrifice. We're going to read it. Go back. The book that came out of Exodus, by the way. But anyway, go ahead. Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. Watch this. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? What? That's the question. What do I have to do to have eternal life? Watch this. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. Christ gave all the glory to the Father. Watch this. But. But. Watch this. If thou wilt enter into life. If you want eternal life. Watch this. Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. What did Jesus Christ say? Read it again. Keep the commandments. My brother, you can't That's get around that. I, I know, but you heard what Jesus said, right? For sure. As simple as that, bro. Just this, check this, out the more information. Just check out, just check this, out the, the information. Law, the, 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 law, the, the law that's in our heart is as simple as this. There is Look no God law in our heart yet. Yeah, that's said in that day. It's in Jeremiah. It says you in that it. day. In that day. Right? You have to repent. You gotta keep the commandments, bro. You can't get around that. For I sure. can't I can't be a murderer. Can I can't I, be can a thief. I, can I speak? I know you're the leader. I can't be I can't I'm not be, gonna disrespect you. I can't be a fornicator. I can't be love an adulterer. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart? Yes. And love who? Your neighbor is yourself. Okay. If I love you, I'm not gonna lie to you, steal to you, kill you, I'm not gonna do nothing. What the law says, because I love you. But you're gonna have to do the law. You, did, you, did, you, did you catch that? I know what you're saying. It's from Romans. Get it, Romans 13. I'll read it for you. No, no. I'm gonna read it for you because you don't understand it. Because you think that's different. It's all the same. I'm gonna show my brother his error because I love him. Right. Watch this. Romans chapter 10 and Romans chapter 13 and verse 10. Watch this. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Love, read a verse 9. Watch verse this. 9. For this, thou shalt not listen, commit listen, adultery. Listen. listen. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, sure. thou shalt not bear false witness. What are those? Those are, those those are commandments. commandments. For sure. Read. Thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment. If there be any other commandment. Meaning more than just that. Any other commandment. Read. It is briefly comprehended in this saying. It is summarized in this saying. Watch this. Namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So don't get it confused. It all means the same thing. It does. That's all we're saying. So what, are, what are the weightier measures of the law? Judgment and justice. Mercy. You don't, you don't, come on. Judgment, mercy, judgment, and justice. For sure. So what are you saying? No, what I'm saying is... Do we is, have to keep the laws? We have to keep his commands, 100%. Oh, that's all we're saying, brother. But that's all we're saying. saying, saying you're, you're saying that the law that was fulfilled Let's no, get it, relax There's three. a reason nobody can keep it. No, let's get it. I can't not kill you? I can't not sleep with your wife? So, I can't honor the Sabbath day? Let me ask you this. What can't we do? Name a guy who kept the full law. Jesus Christ. Just one. Noah. So you Joe. You want any more? Noah, Joe, Jesus. We got one. So do you look into the I'm, I'm not talking to you, sir. I'm having a conversation with my brother. Who, who That's else disrespectful. Is Enoch has said Enoch was supposed to. Perfect, Read right? that. It's the book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 18. Come on. But those things which God before had showed by the mouth listen, of listen, all listen. his prophets <laughs> that Christ should suffer, he hath so fulfilled. What did Christ fulfill? Read it one more time. That Christ should suffer. He hath what? He hath so fulfilled. That's what Jesus came to do. You know how you get a new fulfill testament? all the things by that were written. The old written right. about him. The so, testator has to die, meaning the, the old is gone, and the new is ushered. That's how you get a new testament okay. versus an old. First Corinthians 6 now. 
So will there be fornicators, adulterers, and murderers in the kingdom? Why not? Why not? Because. Because what? Because that's not heaven, who heaven's prepared for. Who's it prepared for? It's for, for, for prepared for clean people. What does it mean to be clean? That means a person who's repented. And doing what? And been baptized. And doing what? And been filled with this. And doing what? You're not, you're not talking about that. You're talking about works-based right. That still works. Oh, That's still Old Testament. Read that. We've been reading in the New Testament the whole time. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse so 9. Know ye get not that the unrighteous it's shall it's not works, inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. Listen. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Let what me are ask those? Your readers, how did you get saved? We, we just read it. No, no. Let me ask you a reader. I'm speaking to you. Why are you going to someone else? Because you let him read. Yes, so he's I'm reading for him. me. He's how reading do you get saved? for me. Right? So is it by faith? You just by missed, grace through faith? You or missed? is it by works? What did I ask for? Um that's a, that's, that's a legit question. Matthew 19 again. Matthew 19 again. Is it by grace through faith? What does it mean to be faith? What is it what does faith mean? Faith is an action. It's what? It's an action. Alright, brother, that's it. That's it, bro. You just cut yourself. Let's go. You're not listening, bro. You're not listening. Faith is an action. Just med meditate on what you said. What are the I actions? Repent. Be baptized. <laughs> be filled with the Holy Ghost. Walk holy. That's action. What does that mean? This. That's what he thinks. What does that mean? How do I walk holy? I think you have a better, Come on. like, Come on. I think what y'all doing is dope. Can I tell y'all that? Like, for real, for real, y'all could be oh. doing anything else on a Friday night. You're right. But we try to reach our brothers. Can I tell you? I mean, from man to man. Hey, the listen, delivery. You know what's so important? You yeah. know what's more important than this, right? You about to say is that you read that and repent and learn the laws that you not have, have not been shown. Sincerely, brother, just check it out. All right? For sure. Just check it out, brother. All right? For sure. All, All right. right. Have a good night. You too.